In the rapids, if you fall out, just stand up. Come on down to the river. These are all students from Montevideo High School. Come on down with me. We're gonna go down the Lackapau River from Dawson to Lackapau County Park. Come on down to the river. It's great just to get out on the river. Running wild and being free. Look at the beauty we have here. Come on down to the river. If you haven't been there, then you can't appreciate it the way you can if you paddled it, if you've seen all the wildlife that live on the sides. Come on down to the river. Running wild and being free. Yes, it's true. Many parts of the Minnesota River Valley are indeed beautiful, with lots of wildlife habitat. Unfortunately, there's another side to this story. Our namesake river is one of the most polluted rivers in the country. The good news is, today, lots of folks are working together to make it better. Thanks for coming. I'm really Meet Ron Baldwin and his daughter, Lori. They call themselves River Rangers. It's a program to get young people and adults in the outdoors to see what the beauty we have around us, walk the woods, see what it's like. The ultimate goal is that you're going to grow up to be good environmental citizens, right? On a sunny October morning, they've come to see an incredible double waterfall at Minneopa State Park. And even if you've seen it before, it still is one of the more impressive falls in the Minnesota River Valley. A long, long time ago, a virgin wind began to blow, which in time would melt the snow, giving birth to a mighty river's flow. In Dakota, Minneopa means water falling twice. The River Rangers are an example of Minnesotans working together to take care of their river. Falls in the Minnesota River Valley that we're in were formed when the glaciers receded about 12,000 years ago. That water running through here is constantly eroding what is crossing, so it keeps cutting out from underneath and backing up and backing up and backing up. In truth, the river has an extensive geological history, and to understand that history, is to understand the Minnesota River. Geologist, Carrie Jennings. This is the place where the Jolly Green Giant campaign was designed and it is a giant valley and it's, it's hard to appreciate if you've grown up here, but valleys like this just don't occur everywhere. What we're seeing is really the result of a catastrophic discharge of water from a, a very large glacial lake, a lake that was bigger than all the Great Lakes put together, that drained very suddenly burst a dam of some sort in near the town of Big Stone. A wall of water was sent down through kind of the central lowland in Minnesota. So if you look across the other side, a little bit above St. Peter where the campus is, um, that was the surface. So this is entirely new, this valley here between us and that town over there. It's over a mile wide at this point. So you have now a valley in the landscape that's 150 feet plus below the surface where most of the streams are flowing. So as they come from that surface down into the valley, they have a lot of gravity actually speeding up the water. And we still have a lot of waterfalls along the edge of this valley where there's bedrock to kind of hold up that fall. But in other places where you just have a thick stack of glacial sediment, you get these very deep ravines that form along the sides of this valley. And they're often tree covered. They deposit the sediment that they're moving into the valley here. And then eventually it gets deposited into Lake Pepin, which is kind of a local stopping point in Minnesota for all fine suspended sediment. You know, the silt and the clay that doesn't settle out of the water very easily. So it's natural for rivers to be cutting into this upper flat surface, depositing their sediment into the valley. What's not natural is the rate that that's happening now. Mm -hmm.